Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is the beginning of a new series on my channel called ACNH Trends. And I know that's not the most creative title for a new series, but what I hope to do in this series is I'm going to be exploring the different kinds of trends and popular things that people are creating in Animal Crossing New Horizons and showing you guys how I interpret these trends and how I tackle them in terms of designing them on my island. And the first one in our series is going to be cafes and marketplaces. So in terms of the format for this series, I'm going to show you guys how I design these two things on my island. And then we're going to go on sites like Twitter and Reddit and explore how other people have been designing these things. Things. So let's just get right into this video. So as you can see, we are in my marketplace and this is something that I built over the past week. And um, I was inspired by a lot of posts on Twitter, people posting different kinds of these like stall designs and all of these designs like this one, this one and this one. They're all custom made designs that I found on Twitter. As you can see, I have like a little coffee shop here. I have a dim sum stall here or dumpling stall. This is supposed to be a ramen shop, but I don't even think that there's an actual ramen item in this game. So I just use the frying pan. And this uh, screen is also a custom design that I pulled off Twitter and you can customize it to have like this fun little menu board on it and this doll is my sushi shop so you can see that the items in front are from CJ's fishing tournament that I thought would be kind of cool to set up in front of a sushi store and uh, the shop's design is actually one of Sable's uh, custom fabrics. In the centerpiece of the marketplace we have my fountain and we're open sign and I put a bench and some lamps in front of it. To the left we have like a garden shop, plant shop. Right here to my right, you can see that I made like a little fruit stand. Um, it's actually supposed to be more of like a smoothie shop. This is supposed to be like, I don't know if this is like common knowledge, but there's this thing in LA and I believe they do in New York called Smorgasburg where not only do they sell food but they sell things like like pottery and candles and um, that's why I made this store that has like incense and a diffuser and a mug and uh, this candle aroma pot and it's supposed to be like a candle store that um, I was inspired by Smorgasburg to make. If you guys don't know I work for a company called 100 Thieves that sells apparel so Naturally, I had to put a stall just for that. On the bottom, I have a picnic area and some other like food things like the vending machines and the popcorn and cotton candy maker. And then to distinguish this area from everything else, I just like gated it with this rope. And if we go up here, you can see that it's also gated off. And I just had some spare things like this porta potty and this water fountain, trash can, and a box over here. Um, if you look on the floors, you can see that I have this like mossy like stone path design and I also got this off Twitter. Um, I just think that this pathing is really pretty because I don't know it just looks so natural compared to the default paths that you get and originally I was just gonna cover this entire section with path but I thought this way looked way better, so that's what I ended up doing. Alright, so now moving on to my cafe. Um, I've shown this a bunch of times. I've showed it in my island tour, and not a lot has changed with this cafe, but I wanted to show you guys for the sake of this video. The entrance is pretty much the same. We have a stall with some coffee makers. Uh, I have a menu chalkboard now. We added some stuff like an extra table. Um, this little cart thing that has like a pot on it and I have this like garden area leading out Chill little space that I imagine that you would hang out after getting your coffee. I actually um, put this Next to my amusement park on the right because I was actually envisioning something like if you guys have ever been to Disneyland in California, it's connected to downtown Disney and downtown Disney is full of like stores and like restaurants and I thought it'd be kind of cool to like interpret it in a way it's like oh this is the downtown Disney section of my island and then you get to the Disneyland of 
my island. So that's why I put these next to each other. If I had to characterize like the colorways of my cafe, it's definitely like dark woods and greens. In the future, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this cafe if they're actually adding like Brewster back with this cafe. Um, I might move this to another section, we'll see. But I'm in the process of like thinking of changing a lot of things on my island. So maybe I'll have a cafe still in the future, maybe not. But I will definitely update you guys in case I do end up getting rid of it. Okay, so now that we explored the cafe and marketplace that I created on my island, um, I'm just on Twitter right now and we're going to explore how other people have created these things on their island and just to like draw inspiration and see other creative ways people are tackling these trends. So I'm just searching market Animal Crossing. Whoa, this is really pretty. It's like um it's like Japanese themed and the cherry blossom lamps make them look really pretty. Oh, it's kind of cool how people are like using hat designs to have like items on their stalls. Here's another market. Oh, there's like a cupcake. I didn't know that that was an item. Is that like a birthday item? I want a cupcake store in my market. <gasps> Wait, oh my, wait, this, I'm sorry, but, <laughs> whoa, this is so cool, wait, this looks like Japan, it looks like going down this perspective, it looks like Japan, that's so cool, I really like this stall design right here, I kind of want this, <laughs> wait, this is so cool, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bookmark this. Yeah, I really like anything Japanese inspired, and this one does it really well. Because it, uh, I don't know if you guys are familiar with Japanese streets, but everything there is very, like, vertical because they don't have that much space, so I can definitely see, like, what kind of perspective they were going for here. I think this is also, like, another Asian-inspired market, but I really like the decor around it. And she put, like a, like, a tea area that looks really pretty with these like zen cushion designs oh that's cool this is like a legit like ramen um stall design right here whoa i really like the colors in this it's like purple pink you have like a lot of lights it looks really pretty oh this is cute so this person like used four stalls to kind of like make a border like this and then Put some like sitting area. Okay, let's do cafes now. So I'm gonna search cafe Animal Crossing. Oh, this is cool. It's like a it's like a cafe next to the museum. Oh, it looks so nice. This person has a seaside cafe. Having a cafe right on the beach is I really like the idea of that. She has so much stone. Wait. She has so much stone on this section of her beach. I wish I had that. <laughs> it's a key cafe, though. This person has a museum rooftop cafe. Oh, very cool. He he built, like, a cafe section right behind his museum. He used all the new bushes that just came out. Oh my god. This person made a cat cafe! Wait, I kind of want this. If only you could actually have, like, cats in this game, like, inside, you know? But the colors are really cute in this room, like, a lot of pinks, oranges. The idea of a cat cafe is just so cute. This looks like a cafe that's... that's themed around, like, pinks and peaches. Very cute furniture all around. I like the terraforming around it, too. It's, like, very small and cozy. Another beachside cafe. I like the flooring. The The seashells are really cute. Oh, the menu is really nice too. Wow, this person has a cafe indoors. A lot of nice decor. And I like the um, I like the TV up here. You see right here? There's like a TV. You know that that's realistic when you have a TV in the, in the restaurant or cafe. This person has a vaporwave cafe. A lot of like retro themed furniture, neons and a lot of bright colors. I really like this. I also wanted to show you guys this article that my cafe was featured in. Um, there's other cool cafe designs in the same article, but 
basically uh, someone messaged me saying they wanted to make an article on the different kinds of like Animal Crossing cafes that uh, creators have been building and you can see here this is my cafe that's featured in this article um unfortunately they spelled my island name wrong it's actually mementos but they said momentos <laughs> but that's okay I, I still think it's really cool that my cafe gets to be featured this person made like a starbucks theme cafe and it looks super legit like if you look at the walls here like it it mimics how Starbucks has like those shelves where you can like buy merchandise. They even have like a Starbucks uniform and the colors are like super on point. This one's really cute, Pink Cafe. It looks more like a diner. It's all like pink themed and I really like the color pink so I love it. This one looks very cozy. I like this one. It looks like one of those like hipster cafes that you like go play board games at or like sit on the couch for like hours while you take forever finishing your coffee. <laughs> I had one of those in my hometown. Anyways guys, that's the end of this video. I hope this video served to give you some inspiration on possibly building your own cafe or market on your island. I'm hoping to do a lot more videos for this series and I have a lot of ideas in mind but if there is a trend that you would like for me to explore, leave them in the comments below and um, I'm super excited to create more videos for this series but for now, thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one.